is up you guys so today I'm sharing with you our tree topper it is for our main tree that is in the family room and as much as I love it well before I even tell you guys how much I love it it did come from Amazon I will put the link below to um, the one that I actually got and guys this is not advertised as a tree topper I just saw it and I immediately thought tree topper and um, I was inspired by my friend Melanie over at the Millionaire House with this. And the tree topper, I loved it in its natural state, but I definitely was not in love with the whitewashed wood. And I could um, definitely see how I wanted to kind of gussy it up a little bit more. And of course, I filmed it and wanted to share with you guys what I did so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do um, give it a thumbs up and let's get started so the first thing I did you guys was I took it outside to the backyard and I got my little handy dandy can of spray paint in this metallic silver um, the rust-oleum and I spray painted it I almost did it red because the colors in my main tree are red and silver but I decided on the silver because I do want to use this again and I thought that you know maybe one year I didn't want to put silver on this tree I mean red on this tree so I went with a silver I felt like it was more universal so it took a couple of coats it was windy so I had to give them a little flower pot to hold the paper down <laughs> And I did put a couple of coats on there. Okay, and so once I was done, here's what it looks like. And I do love the way it turned out. But of course, I wanted to amp it up a bit more. And I got these um, pearl embellishments. And they are actually found in the jewelry aisle of your craft store. And of course, my handy dandy glue gun. You guys know, have glue gun will travel. And basically guys what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take those beads and I am going to embellish our monogram and this was not the easiest <laughs> undertaking it was definitely tedious um, it, it took me a while to get it all done but it was well worth it and um, these are, are pretty lightweight beads. So, you know, they were rolling around, <laughs> bouncing around. But once I got a system going, I was able to get them on the monogram fairly quickly. Now, if you have a pair of tweezers, I would definitely recommend you using the tweezers because it would definitely help you grip those smaller beads. And then you're not burning yourself when you're trying to put hot glue on it as well. So I definitely recommend that you use tweezers if you do have some okay and here I'm just laying it out I'm trying to figure out where do I want it I didn't want it to be too matchy matchy and I did start with the larger beads because you know it's kind of like a jar when you're trying to fit <laughs> so much into a jar you want to put the larger ones in first and then fill it out with the smaller ones so I just try to do that here um, and I'm just putting a bead of hot glue on there and I am just sticking it randomly wherever I want it okay and again it, it, it wasn't the easiest without the tweezers but you know I made it work <laughs> I made it work and guys what drew me to this I was looking for something honestly I was just looking for the monogram but then when I found something with the monogram and the reindeer antlers love I was like it's a match made in heaven people it is a match made in heaven and I think it's advertised as like a wood monogram plaque or something like that but I saw it as a tree topper and I definitely had to enlist my husband and <laughs> get his nod of approval that he could mount this baby on top of the tree without my whole tree toppling over 
And so after much trial and error, what seemed like 40 days and 40 nights later, people, <laughs> I finally finished. It was quite the undertaking. It will take you a little while to complete it, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. Here it is. And I decided not to cover the entire thing with the beads. One, because I just thought it would drive me crazy. <laughs> and then two, I really wanted our monogram to stand out. I wanted it to be the star of the show. And so I felt like if I would have covered the entire thing with beads, then it kind of would have, you know, kind of faded in the background. But I love it, you guys. I really do. It, it, it was time consuming, but it was well spent. And I really hope you guys like it as much as I do. If you are new here, my name is Felicia, also known as Miss Fee Marie. And I hope you love this video and that you will stick around and subscribe. And hey to my Fee Marie family. Guys, I am coming tomorrow with my Christmas home tour. I realize I am cutting it close. Christmas is in a few days, but I will have that home tour. I will show you guys my glam, rose gold, and silver tree in my dining room, and just all my decorations, okay? So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. If you have any questions, just comment below. Bye, guys.